name's Susan Parsons. I'm a maths lecturer in the engineering department. There are several career prospects available in engineering, post-engineering, so the students can continue on here at South Cheshire College. They can go do um, higher education, so they can continue on um, getting a founder, well, a higher national certificate, higher national diploma in engineering or they can move on to an apprenticeship, which is what a large majority of our students do. Now that can be to do with railways, that can be to do um, mechanical engineering, automotive engineering, they can move into chemical engineering, they can move into um, even software development if that's an area they're interested in. There's electrical, electronic uh, engineering that they can move into. So they've got a lot of variety of what they can choose to do with a BTEC in engineering. I'm Gillian Griffin, I'm one of the engineering lecturers at South Cheshire College. The electrical and electronic engineering, which is what I specialise in, um, has many, many um, routes and progression routes. Um, most employers are now looking for multi-skilled um, students uh, when they're appointing apprentices or students in the future. Um, and so they're not just looking for mechanical engineering skills and manufacturing engineering skills, they want them to have a good knowledge overall of um, electrical theory as well. So it's also as part of the course, um, one of our modules is um, a mandatory module, which is on electrical and electronic theory, so all of our students here study electrical and electronic theory. There are many transferable skills from the um, courses that we do. Uh, obviously we embed English and maths right the way through all of the subjects that we do. Electrical and electronic theory um, uses uh, lots and lots of math skills. It uses problem solving skills, uh, communication skills. We get the students presenting work to us as well, so they're learning presentation skills. And so they go out with not just the um, electrical theory and the engineering theory, but they go out with overall skills um, for the workplace. My name's Jordan Robinson. I am a true apprentice at Bentley Mirrors. I'm a second year apprentice. My name is Dave Ackroyd, I'm 29. I come from Ellswick Port, which is about an hour away. I'm Conor Priest, I'm 23. I'm a Bentley trim apprentice, first year. You represented Bentley, which is quite a big thing. It's a very proud thing, obviously, working for Bentley. The, the course itself is quite busy, and you know, it's a hands on subject, which I quite enjoy myself. And it's so for all, it's, it's a good opportunity for myself. Uh, the most appealing aspect of the course is basically working for a company such as Bentley. They, they are meant to be dealing with getting a transfer maybe to Germany, to Porsche and Bugatti. So the routes that you can take, you can take like a specialist. So you can learn about the world to try different ways of glowing and stuff like that. You can get a bit 